Uh, well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, just in Todd Bowley has made signing Frankie De Jong Chelsea's absolute priority. He's top target for this summer. This is coming from Footy Insider. I know this isn't from one of the regular uh, Chelsea journalists out there, but I tend to believe there's some truth behind this because last summer we went in on this particular player quite heavily and there was a whole heap of meetings that our owners you know took place with with the barcelona hierarchies and that's where all it all started to begin the good meal having a good meal all that memes started to you know come out and you know the fact that we are potentially looking at getting rid of mason mount we'll see what happens there this is something interesting to talk about <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Look, before we get in on this particular conversation of Frankie Dion, and um, I want to showcase a particular tweet that I put out and some comments around that, which is going to create a good discussion on this particular topic. Let's sort of look at why this could be a possibility. Of course, this may not be a possibility as well. There's there's huge, um, you know, conversations and discussions and tweets out there stating that Frankie Dion wants to stay at Barcelona Football Club as long as possible. But Barcelona themselves have got massive, massive issues with the recent corruption charges in regards to paying a former referee if they found guilty. God knows what sort of repercussions they may have. They are still financially are in the mud. So what does it mean for future you know, transfer business, transfer windows for them? I mean, they're not a force in Europe at the moment. Surely Frankie de Jong will have to think about all of this um, before shunning out Chelsea altogether. Now, before we get into that particular story, why do I think this may possibly happen is because there could be a revamp in midfield and you know players like Mason Mount there's heavy conversations that he could potentially leave we're not finding that agreement for Mason Mount in regards to the contract extension um, and then there's a whole heap of rumors in regards to Kovacic Ruben Loftus-Cheek even though he's done a you know fairly decent enough job but is his future at Chelsea Football Club Conor Gallagher as well a bit part player um so yeah, you best believe there's going to be there's going to be quite a lot of you know interest from Chelsea Football Club in order to bring some midfielders in. Um, Enzo Fernandez is obviously the one who's locked his position in there, but um, it is to see which sort of partners that he's going to have next season. Angelo Kante, of course, we're going to get the contract extension done. Looks like that's that's what the word is in the street. But you know, injuries injuries do cloud. Um, the the scenario that whether he's going to be able to you know, hang around for the for 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 an entire season is he going to be av available for us um, to utilize him? So look, this is coming from Fabrizio Romano, literally probably about seven eight hours ago. There's still a big gap in negotiations between Chelsea and Mason Mount as new deal is again far from being agreed. No final decision yet, but Chelsea of Mason Mount leaving. Uh, no final decision yet, but chances of Mason Mount leaving Chelsea are increasing. Mount will be on the market if new deal is not agreed before the summer. So, look, uh, this is coming from Fabrizio Romano. This is a recent tweet. Fabrizio Romano also goes on to say that the recent rumours in regards to him being dropped uh, because of his contract situation, uh, you know, not being a part of that uh, you know, squad against Leicester, there's no truth around it as yet he hasn't found any confirmation obviously sam um the other uh, you know insider tends to, tends to think that mason man was fully fit and uh there was no issues with injury and he was just left out of the squad so look Lots of things happening in regards to Mason Mount. Um, Simon Phillips uh, on the other side has come out and said, I had some rare recent positivity from a good source on the Mason Mount situation, suggesting to me that it might not be over yet and that there is still some belief that a deal can be struck in the summer. Chelsea don't believe it to be over at all. Far from it. There's still some optimism there. Both parties ideally want to extend. They value Mount so much that they want to get him on a longer contract before the rules change in the summer. And I think I think that's where the problem will be: the longer contract. I, you know, from all the uh, articles and all the tweets that have dropped uh, over the last God knows how many months. 
one of the sticking points is that Mason Mount doesn't want a long contract, doesn't want a six year, seven year, eight year contract. He wants a standard five years, and of course, he wants a decent amount of money. Um, and I think from both both prospect, it's it's not possible. So in comes this story of Frankie De Jong. Frankie De Jong, ladies and gentlemen, it's it's a player that I've admired. He's honestly he's a player I've admired for a very very long time. Wanted him at Chelsea Football Club last summer. I thought a player of his caliber would have been amazing for Thomas Tuchel. I think Thomas Tuchel wanted him as well. You know, someone who could play as, as a six, as an eight, as a ten. I'm not going to hear it. Just like Enzo Fernandez, lots of people disregarded, um, you know, Frankie de Jong's defensive qualities. It's not his biggest highlight, but he's no mug when it comes to defensive qualities, much like Enzo Fernandez. You look at Enzo Fernandez's stats every single match since he's joined Chelsea Football Club. His defensive stats are probably better than some of our defensive players. You know, interceptions, ground jewels, the law. And, and of course, you know what you get with Enzo Fernandez with the ball. Frankie de Jong simil similarly is an amazing baller. Amazing baller. I mean, if it's a back four, if we switch to a 4-3-3, you could potentially have Enzo Fernandez and uh, Frankie de Jong as the eight, or you can even have Frankie de Jong at times play as a six and Enzo Fernandez as, an, uh, as, as one of the eights along with another eight. You can mix and match massively. Yes, we do need that DM profile. I'm not even going to lie. Yes, we do. But look at the way Barcelona plays as well. Sergio Busquets, you know, proper register. He's not known for his, you know, immense tackling, you know, uh, attributions. So, there are other ways of playing football, but I'm not going to lie. We do need that defensive uh, midfielder, kind of in the mold of Casemiro, Declan Rice. Um, you could potentially even have Declan Rice as the deep-lying sort of um, midfielder, deepest midfielder, along with Enzo Fernandez and Frankie De Jong on either side. If Even if it's a double pivot, right now we're playing with Enzo Fernandez and Kovacic, you could potentially play with Enzo Fernandez and Frankie De Jong. So, look... I've admired this player. I've admired this player for a very long time. His ball playing ability is off the charts. Footballing IQ is is ruthless, phenomenal. Um, and as I said, a particular midfielder that can so seamlessly transition from six to eight to ten. These are the level of ballers. If we want to control the midfield, if we want to have four at the back, let's say, you do need technical midfielders that are going to keep hold of the ball a lot more. You can't have a basketball game playing 4-3-3 and having our defense exposed on every single opposition attack. So you do need technical players in midfield. And, and Frankie de Jong and Enzo Fernandez, they can both chip in with assists and goals. So look, this is what I tweeted out, ladies and gentlemen. Frankie de Jong is a player I admired for so long. Damn good on the ball and footballing IQ off the charts. Just like Enzo, people underestimate his defensive qualities. A player who can seamlessly transition from 6, 8, and 10. If we sell Mount, then we should focus on bringing Frankie de Jong in. And also, as I said earlier on, Kovacic. There's rumors about Kovacic whether he will stay on as well. I'd love to see Kovacic stay on. Um but, you know, there, there is rumours that he could potentially leave. And these are some of the comments that people are saying. Um, probably more of a cover replacement if he leaves, to be honest. But he always reiterates he wants to stay there anyway. So God knows if it's uh, even feasible. So that's the one of the sticking points. Frankie Dion is quite adamant to stay at Barcelona. I don't understand why. I mean... Look, okay, I get it. The fact that the heritage, the the history of the football club uh, and whatnot, it's, it's quite heavy. I understand that. Um, it is a lucrative, pr prestigious club to play for. But the recent issues, even last season, the economic levers, all the different things that they pulled uh, due to their financial stress, I mean, all of that honestly needs to be investigated massively um, by by UEFA. I know UEFA, they love Barcelona. And now the recent rumours in regards to, you know, them paying some <laughs> side payments to ex-referees, former referees um, you know, previously, if found guilty, they could be they could be in a lot of issue. So, and don't forget, they're still in financial stress. They're still finding it difficult to, you know, pay some of their players, you know, God knows what their budget is going to be for next summer window. Um, they will need to get rid of some of their players in order to bring in new players. So, look, Frankie de Jong, overall, like Barcelona, I don't know how good their future looks, man. It looks very, very topsy-turvy. It looks very shaky. 
yeah, they could go on to win the La Liga. They're in a good position right now. But how much is that going to really help them um, to get out of this financial mess? I don't know. And and don't forget, Real Madrid are hot on their case for for that you know recent drama. As I said, the the paying former referee um, previously, uh, Real Madrid wants to make sure that Barcelona no way gets away with this. So uh, there's a lot of uncertainty. However, yes, it is. Um, well documented that Frankie de Jong does want to stay at Barcelona. This is what I've replied back. Yeah, he seems to be so adamant in staying at Barca. Barca could be in huge trouble if found guilty with the recent charges in regards to paying off a former referee. Also financially, they are still in the mud. Frankie de Jong's pursuit is genuine though as we went for him uh, hard last summer. That's the thing. I, I tend to believe that we are interested in this particular player because we went for him massively last summer. Um, and I'd find it very, very strange that if, if that interest died down because he's an absolute baller. He's an absolute baller. He's extremely adamant in his desire to stay at Barcelona to the point he gave up millions in wages to avoid leaving. Even in the event Barca pushes him out of the door, which is the only way he will leave, he will not be a happy man. I don't want someone unhappy to be here. That is true as well. Yep, this statement I agree with. Barca could be in massive trouble if found guilty with their recent charge regarding play, paying off a former referee. Also, Barca still find themselves in massive financial crisis. Ultimately, Frankie Dion should look out for himself. Never going to happen. I said never say never. I thought Enzo was impossible, but it, it did happen. So, look, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about... Um, you know, the Frankie de Jong situation, Mason Mount, it's 50-50, to be honest, at the moment it is 50-50, but Frankie de Jong is a player I would love to see at Chelsea Football Club. Let me know your thoughts. Would you like to see Frankie de Jong? As I said, so many midfielders potentially going to leave uh, Chelsea Football Club. There has to be a revamp. And I want all technical ballers at Chelsea Football Club. And a player like Frankie de Jong is, is someone who provides goals and assists too. So, look... Let me know your thoughts. Hope you've enjoyed this. Smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya.